Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator Mod Review. So, this is by the ARM team. I believe I've got that right. Let me check. Go to the store and uh, we'll uh, have a look. Of course, this is the Milo, Milo, however you say it, it doesn't say here. ARM team. Dot gr. That is the download link. Link will be in the description. The Milo, Milo, stuff like that, that's what I call it. Had this in Farm Sim 13. Now there's a lot of features that I think that are new. And there's some improvements that I feel they could make. But there may be many reasons why they're doing this. Now this does get dirty. Unfortunately I don't have a dirty version of it sort of sat here. But it, I can assure you it does get dirty. Looking around... The textures, that's what gets me. They seem very dated from Farm Sim 15, uh, 13, sorry. Doesn't seem like they've changed a whole lot there. But they have worked on other stuff, so that's why I wouldn't give it too much sort of down on it, if you like. So we'll jump in. Nice interior. It does seem they've improved. The dials and they do move, and of course, we've got the hand and the steering wheel. I'm not sure, I don't think this was in 13, but a cool feature is we've got the machine off right now. But you got the arm and up down on the joystick, the sort of curling of whatever's on the front, and it twists and it moves it in and out. Now, I don't know if that's correct for a telehandler, I'm guessing these guys have done the homework. It does go I'll level this up quite a high, and the camera does follow it. It's kind of nice. Now I use a 360 controller, and I find the in and out of the boom can be like a little snappy. It seems really, really quick too. So why do I prefer this from the Leaper? The real reason is the steering. And we'll get to that in a minute. We'll do more of the features. This does have quite a few, so 7 and 4 on the numeric keypad is up and down on the rear hitch. You can see them moving very slowly up and down there for like bail trailers, stuff like that. Uh, 8 and 9 is... 8 will open the whole door, shut it up, and 9 opens the top. That is this cool feature. Something small like that. Really realistic. Shut that up and open the holder. See what it looks like from the inside. And then if we go outside. This I know 100% was not in the 13 version. O on the numer well, zero on the numeric keypad side. And you can see a bit of little pixelation down there. Boom engine compartment. That's neat. I love it when they do that because there's just ample opportunities for photos and stuff like that and there's a lot of people in the community that just like playing the game and taking photos. Shut that back up. Actually we'll leave it open. We'll jump back inside. We'll start it up. Sounds identical to the Leaper, they've just used those files. But you can see the fan spins. Doesn't change RPM or anything, it just stays the same. Jump out and shut up the engine compartment. Get rid of that, and we'll also get rid of the HUD. So, driving around. Unfortunately, and I can see this being a problem in a lot of mods. We have the grey, blacky smoke. Now I say it in a lot of mods in 13 that it shouldn't be like that. It should be like a nice heat haze like you see here, a little less. But a brand new machinery doesn't do that. It probably doesn't even puff a bit of black smoke on startup with modern day stuff in, in engines. So it's a negative for me, a real big negative on this one. But it's just me being picky. Uh, the lights on it, as we're here. 
There you go. Uh, that, does that list that actually? Oh yeah, it does. Five and six work, rear working lights. I missed that. And they actually show up in medium graphic settings. That's cool. Looks like they're Ali based too. The real ones. That's neat. Indicators. Just put the hazards on. Front and rear, and of course, brake lights. But the big thing about this is. I was really looking forward to is delete on the keyboard changes your steering modes. So we have all what four wheel steer, like we constantly do in the loop out, that's kind of what drove me away from it. Have a crab mode. And we have front wheel steer. Now I mentioned this in a video of mine recently, I don't know if the rear wheels would steer as well. If there's a mode so it's like front wheel steer, four wheel steer, crab. And then rear wheel steer only. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure it's probably not. Uh, something else I do want to mention is the suspension. Now, I'm pretty sure the rear is like a floating axle, pivots in the middle. You guys know the drill. You know how much I just wish the game had that from the get go. And these guys, I think, have tried to do it, but it seems like it's still like an independent in the middle. So I'm not really kind of sure you see it there, that other way that did that. So again, that's something I'd like him to maybe tweak. These guys are on the third version of this already. They do fix anything they see. Uh, they fixed sort of the major lag that was with the implements. And they were disappointed that was in there. It seemed like they were generally disappointed. I'll go up here and see. I don't think... Yeah, you can see there how the steering knuckle's gone down. It should be the axle rotating. You can even see the hydraulic cylinders there for dampening. So my guess is it's supposed to pivot. Not the steering knuckle go down like that. So something I'd like to see in a different version of this maybe. So there's only really two major negatives. The suspension is one, the Exhaust particle effects is another. I can see so many people doing that because well, look at that there. People love to see machinery pour black smoke out in farm sim. We know it's on. We don't need to see this. It's, if an engine's doing that, it's really highly tuned or completely and utterly screwed. How does it function? It functions fantastic. I haven't got any bells or anything to show you lifting, but. Lift its own weight. And it pulls quite nicely. There's a little test I did want to do just for fun. To add a little fun aspect into this. And down here I've got a semi trailer full of canola. I wanted to see if it would actually pull it. Completely unreal test, but I'll give you a taste of it. And then we'll go over the price of this machine. I think, it, I think the price of this is 90 grand in game. That's, I believe, is this that the real price? I honestly don't know. It seems a little steep. I believe the Leaper is 90k. And this is a lot smaller machine compared to the Leaper. Oh, we can. Awesome. So, right now, I'll put the hub back on. We'll take the diff locks off the four wheel drive off and see how it does. Now, I know these little machines can be pretty torquey. If it does manage to pull this up, but I'll be very surprised. I don't think it is because they're slowing already. One tire fire already. Um, back down a little. It's as I thought, in all honesty, I don't think it would. Maybe it will.
see this four wheel drive only. If it doesn't do it on this, we won't bother because this real thing, you cannot expect it to be pulling this. How well it's doing already, my guess is a smaller trailer full of grain. If push comes to shove, it would cope with it fine. Yep. I don't think it would in all honesty. Actually, there is something I do want to show. It does have a attacher up here. I will go back to the yard up here. Now, you may think, what good is that attachment there for a trailer? It's actually, you'll be surprised how often you probably use it. If you're not very good at backing up wagon style trains, kind of like that, what that would have been there, I can back them up slowly, very, very slowly. But an easy way to do it, get a four seal, is to just hook it up to the, up here. So we'll go by a trailer by MB Modern, it's one of my favourite bail trailers. We'll go over the price of this guy. Tell your handler. So here it is, and it is 90 grand. 100 money per day. I've got it in British pounds, but dollars and whatnot, I think it is exactly the same. There's no currency adjustment. And 140 horsepower. Robinson Balefork is a mod I really recommend for Mod Hoster. Uh, the stock telehandler will buy it and actually compare it in size so it's cheaper than the Milo, wow that's a big surprise and it may actually be the same size, wow I always thought it was smaller so just going wheelbase roughly yeah the Milo is smaller not by much but That's rough. Half a wheel. I'm really shocked the loop has cheaper in gamer. Really shocked. Uh the go by the trailer. Are we in the mod section already now? Bio technology, be a modern. Drop that, and we'll go along to pick up. There you go. So just for like driving it into a spot. so much more easier and of course if you wanted to do some touch up on the frame and stuff like that you very easily could you guys will see what I'm getting at in a minute do a bit of painting so the under night underneath So it can hold quite a lot of weight. So I think that brings the video to an end. This is the Milo, Milo, however you say it, by, I have to look again, I have to look again, sorry about this, I'm terrible with names when it comes down to the models. Wrong one. armteam.gr is the website. Despite those guys, go check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description. I'd give this exhaust suspension aside probably a good solid 8, you know, honestly. Textures could do with like maybe up, just bringing up up to date, but they would run on a older machine for sure, because they are crappier textures just putting it out that they are. Uh, definitely would love to see the exhaust smoke fixed along with the suspension and maybe some branded tires put on this guy. That would really finish the mod off I think. Get it out of farm some 13 age and back into 15. But overall it is a solid telehandler for what it is. Plenty of features in there. 
just overall a fantastic little machine. Price is a little steep, surprisingly, but overall, good solid 8. I'd give that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And as always, catch you guys next time. See ya.